My name is Mark, and I'd like to welcome you to this Haas Tip of the Day. Now, if you could create your own G-code to do almost anything, what would you have it do? Maybe you'd write your own custom tool change cycle to avoid the trunning on your machine. Or maybe you'd write a, a custom code that probes the angle on a part and writes that angle to a work offset. Well, today's tip is gonna help lay the groundwork to do exactly that. Create your own alias G&M codes. Every time I walk up to my UMC, the table is full of coolant. I blow it off and get drenched. This happens over and over. Okay, I know what code we're gonna create today. When we run this code, the control is gonna tip the rotary axes on my UMC and drain the coolant from my part. Now, this will keep me from getting soaked every time I reach in and, and hose the coolant off. Now, this is just an example. You could write almost any kind of program and assign it to almost any GRM code. Any code that you find yourself entering over and over again can be turned into a simple alias GRM code. Let's see how this works. Now we're going to be editing a 9000 program, so we have to turn setting 23, edit lock, off. And because we're also going to be changing a parameter, we have to turn setting 7, parameter lock, off as well. Parameters 81 through 100 contain our alias code information. So I'm gonna to go to parameters, enter 90 and press down arrow. This brings me to parameter 90, M macro call 9009. Right now it's set to zero. I'm gonna set that to 155. It says servo is on. That just means I have to press E stop. We'll try that again, and it took it. Now parameter 90, M macro call 09009 is set to 155. What this means is that anytime I command an M155 from within my program or from MDI, the control is going to run subprogram 9009. Now, why did I choose 155? You have to be careful with this. If I choose a, an M code or a G code that already exists, the control is going to use my M6 instead of the control's M6. There isn't an M155, so we're safe in this case. Okay, let's take a look at my 9009 program. There's nothing really special about it. It moves my tool up and out of the way and rotates the axes. It's worth noting that last line, though. It contains an M99, not an M30. With the M99, this subprogram returns to the main program when called. Let's close the doors, and I'm going to command an M155 from MDI and press cycle start. My tool goes up and out of the way, my rotary tilts over and drains, and my program actually waits for me to press cycle start so the rotary can return back to B and C zero. Now there are some differences between alias G codes and alias M codes. An alias G can transfer macro variables, which means that the macro option needs to be enabled. With an alias M code, you don't need the macro option. Now on our next gen control, NGC, things are slightly different when setting up an alias G or M code. There are really just two differences. One is that our alias M and G code information is not stored under parameters. It's stored on the alias codes tab when we press settings. The second thing is that our 9009 program is now stored in a folder called 09000 under Lisprog. Okay, so the NGC is pretty simple. Well, that's about it. For the programs that we use today, be sure to check out the link at the end of this video for today's bonus content. Thanks for letting us be a part of your success and for watching this Haas Tip of the Day.